Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to discuss uh, one another topic in research methodology. So before moving to the presentation, let me share the PowerPoint presentation. So today we are discussing uh, one uh, important short essay that will be asked very frequently in your uh, university exam uh, sampling. So we'll discuss about the various sampling techniques today. So uh, my uh, presentation will be there for uh, 30 minutes. And at the end of the presentation, you will be clearly knowing uh, what is the sampling, different types of sampling techniques and uh, steps involved in each technique. So let me see uh, what you mean by a sample. So do you have any idea regarding uh, the term sample? Okay, sampling is the process or technique of selecting a sample of uh, appropriate uh, characteristics and adequate size. A sample is a part of the population called the universe, reference or parent population. So when we are doing a survey, it is very difficult for us to collect the data from the entire population. So for imagine uh, in case of a survey with uh, one lakh of uh, people, it's not a uh, very easy for us to get the, the details of all these uh, 1 lakh people or uh, uh, 10,000 people. So in such case, we will take a representative uh, uh, members of this population and these representative members are called as the sample. So a sample is a part of the population called the universe reference or parent population. So why do we need a, a sampling or why can't we study everyone? Why can't we collect data from each and everyone in the population? So why sampling is necessary? It reduces the cost of the investigation. Means uh, uh, in a population of, uh, uh, for example, if we are going to do a survey in uh, uh, Kerala, it's uh, not possible for us to go and meet and collect data from each and every one, each and every one of us. So, if we are going for sample or sampling technique, it reduces the cost of the investigation. Also, it allows thorough investigation of the units of observation. It requires less time for doing uh, that survey. It helps to provide adequate and in-depth coverage of the sample units. It, uh, there is uh, also physical impossibility for us to cover the whole population. So first of all, it reduces the cost and time of investigation. It helps to provide adequate and in-depth coverage of the sample units. So sampling is, uh, as I already told you, sampling is a procedure by which some numbers of a given population are selected as representative of the entire population. A sample is a part of the population called the uh, universe reference or parent population. Let's move on to the, uh, before that, uh, uh, we will see what are the ideal requirements of a sample. So the ideal requirements means it should meet uh, some uh, criteria. That means efficiency, representativeness, measurability, size, coverage, goal orientation, feasibility and economic, economy. It should be economical. So then move on to the types of sampling. Broadly, it's classified into probability and non-probability sampling. So let's see, uh, what are all the uh, different techniques which comes under probability sampling and non-probability sampling. So under probability sampling, we have simple random sampling, stratified random sampling, systematic sampling, cluster random sampling, and multi-stage random sampling. So under non-probability sampling, we have convenient sampling, volunteer sampling, and snowboard or network sampling. 
So what do you mean by this probability sampling? So what is this uh, uh, probability sampling? So uh, in this uh, probability sampling, uh, uh, it is a recommended method of sampling and the distinctive feature of which uh, uh, is that each individual unit in the population has a known probability of being selected. Therefore, generalization can be made to the parent population with the precision and confidence. So me this means every member in the population has a known probability of being selected as a sample. So we'll see each one of uh, uh, these techniques under the probability sampling. First one is uh, uh, simple random simple random sampling. This means each and every unit of the population has an equal chance of being selected. So we have this uh, following methods to uh, get this uh, 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 simple random sampling. Uh, in this simple, simple random sampling, uh, each and every unit in the population has an equal chance of being included in the sample. In this method, the selection of the unit is determined by chance only. The basic procedure is lottery method and uh, computer assisted software. So this is a simple random sampling. Uh, uh, randomly, we will select uh, uh, members as two, six, seven, 12 and 18. So he, all the members right from 1 to 20 has an equal chance of being selected as the sample. Next comes the systematic sampling. A systematic sample is obtained uh, by selecting one unit at random and then selecting additional units at evenly spaced interval till the sample of required size has been gone. For example, to obtain a sample of the patient attending a dental clinic, Suppose there are 200 patients in a clinic and it is decided to select a sample of size 20. Then 200 divided by 20 gives you version 10. The first number is selected as random 4. The next unit will be 4 plus 10, 14. Hence the serial numbers of the sample units will be 4, 14, 24, 34 and 44. And so on till 20 numbers are got. <coughs> So in systematic random sampling, there will be a systematic rule followed, even though we are some randomly collecting the sample. The first number will be selected at random, and the next consequent numbers at evenly spaced intervals. So this is a systematic random sampling at an interval of four. First number is randomly selected, that is two, then gap of four, get you the 6, then 10, 14, 18, and so on, till the desired sample size is achieved. Next comes the stratified sampling technique. A random sample from each strata is selected. So in this case, just see out of 5, 3 is selected, then 10 out of, right from 5 to 10, 9 is selected, then it's, it goes on like that. So the population is first divided into subgroups or strata according to the some common characteristics. Then random or systematic sampling is performed independently in each structure. So we will divide the entire population into strata or subgroups and we will take a random sample from each group. So there are uh, stratified sampling uh, has about two uh, different techniques. Uh, first one is stratified random sampling. Uh, it's applicable for non-homogeneous population. The advantage is representative sample from each strata has greater accuracy. A stratified random sample is observed using the following procedure. The population to be sampled is subdivided into groups and known as strata such that each group is homogeneous in its characteristic. A simple random sample is then chosen from each strata. This type of sampling is the sampling technique is used when the population is heterogeneous with regard to the characteristics under study. Next comes the cluster sampling. Uh, this method is used when the population forms natural groups or clusters such as villages, 
wards, blocks, or children of a school, etc. Here, a sample random uh, a random sample is selected, not all individual subjects, but of groups or clusters of individuals. The sampling units are clusters, and the sampling frame is a list of these clusters. First, a sample of the cluster is selected, and then all the units in each of the selected clusters are surveyed. The advantages are it's administratively simple, and disadvantages it contains uh, the cluster contains similar persons. The findings cannot be generalized to a parent population. So this is an example for cluster sampling. Uh, it's a village uh, which is divided into five sections. So after the cluster sampling, we have multi-stage sampling technique. Uh, in the multi-stage sampling technique, uh, it's a sampling procedure carried out in several stages using random sampling technique applicable for large-scale surveys. So, if you are, for example, in our country, uh, we have divided into uh, four states. Then from each state, we have divided into four districts. And in each district, we have, again, four villages. So dividing our country into four states makes the stage one. Then each district from each state, state makes the stage two. And each village, four villages from each district makes the stage five. So let's recap about the non-probability sampling. Uh, uh, also, uh, 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 as we discussed before about the uh, probability sampling, uh, we have uh, this uh, uh, various uh, sampling techniques like a simple random sampling, scientific random sampling, cluster sampling, and multi-stage sampling techniques. Then moving on to the non-probability sampling. So this is uh, one uh, non-probability sampling technique uh, called the convenient sampling. Here the researcher takes the sample as per his convenience. There is no rule followed in selecting the sample. It just depends on the convenience of the researcher. So this is uh, uh, another type of uh, prob non-probability sampling called the volunteer sampling. Here the researcher will take the samples uh, who are voluntarily willing to participate in the survey. So those who are self-willingly uh, come forward to participate, uh, the researcher will take those uh, people as sample and will perform the survey. Next is uh, yet another sa important sampling technique network or snowball sampling. Here the samples will go, uh, go forward in a network way. Uh, the researcher will identify uh, one uh, uh, or two samples uh, from the category and uh, will get the uh, remaining, will get the remaining samples uh, uh, with the help of the uh, first two samples. So this is uh, particularly helpful in case of uh, uh, for example, uh, drug abuse, uh, the uh, study in among the uh, transgenders, uh, etc. So, to summarize, uh, we should know what do you mean by a sample. A sample is a part of the population called the universe or the parent population. A sampling is a process or technique of selecting a sample of appropriate characteristics and adequate size. Then why do we need a sample? It means it reduces the cost and time required and it allows thorough investigation of each units in the population. Then about the types of probability sampling, uh, simple random, stratified random, cluster sampling, multi-stage sampling techniques. Uh, also about the types of non-probability sampling, uh, for example, convenient sampling, volunteer sampling, and network or snowball sampling. So these are the books you can look into for further reading. Thank you.